Howdy guys, Dior's here. So, actually, yeah, let me see something here. Yeah, it's a little bit wider. Nope. Nah, I don't like that. Just playing around with the camera settings real quick. I don't know how well you guys are going to be able to hear me. Um, I'm in my truck. It's a little bit loud. I try to talk over... Try to talk over the uh, noise as best I can. I don't know how well the uh, how well the mics are gonna pick me up. Uh, so I got another video I'm gonna be uploading here soon. I actually recorded it earlier this week. I actually recorded it on Monday. So hopefully we'll get that uploaded before this one. If not, I mean it's not a big deal. It's gonna get uploaded this week. You know, tonight. Or tomorrow one way or another it's gonna get uploaded uh, doing a quick little drive because I gotta go back to a customer's house that I originally moved furniture for and he's throwing out some uh, sheets of plywood and I'm gonna go ahead and pick them up I'm gonna do you know cuz well, I mean I did tell him I was gonna pick them up but anyhow so I'm getting off topic here so my topic here is uh, about a com based on a conversation that a friend and I had over the weekend, and it had me a little, to say the least, it had me pissed off. Okay, pissed off. My friend, we're gonna call him Frank for all intents and purposes, because I don't really want to give him. You know, I don't want to. I don't want to talk about. You know, I want to give him his real name here on this video. I want to really bash him, but man, he really pisses me off with the stupid shit that he starts spewing out of his mouth. Um, this guy is like completely did a 180 from the last time I met him. He is pretty much gone, complete and total socialist. Okay. I'm gonna like say I'm calling him what he is. He's a fucking socialist because that's what he is. He's calling me a fucking idiot for listening to Alex Jones. Even though I tried to explain to him, I haven't listened to Alex Jones in, geez, probably about two months, maybe a little bit longer because for some reason, my cell service don't let me, uh, won't let me listen to him on his app and uh, I can't listen to him do a live broadcast via his website on my cell phone. So I don't know what the hell he's talking about. But the fact that the matter is, he's calling me an idiot because I, you know, I listen to him and keep saying that he's not my friend. And uh, the other thing too is that he's calling me an idiot because he does because I told him that I'm not voting for Bernie. I don't like Bernie. He doesn't represent me, and he thinks I'm an idiot because of that. But I told him straight up, a person like Bernie Sanders. And even a person to the caliber of uh, Elizabeth Warren, neither one of those people support me. Andrew Yang, another person, does not support me, does not represent my views. And he's telling me that my views are not original, that, you know, they're not my views. You know, I'm uh, following some sort of, like, it, it's like as if, you know, in his head, that I'm, I'm following, I'm following the masses of some, you know, like, I, I don't have thoughts of my own or something like that. I'm going to tell... What he doesn't understand is that I develop my, my thoughts and my opinions based on... Based on what facts have been presented to me in my life. And also based on what life experiences I have had being, you know, on this earth for the last 28 years. Okay? And I can tell you right now without a shadow of a doubt that programs such as UBI UBI and socialism are not going to work they're not they just aren't they won't now I can, you know, like I said, I can understand, I guess, a little bit, you know, I mean, I can understand to a degree that, you know, he is, you know, a little bit upset, you know, with his lot in life and everything. He's upset that, uh, you know, the military messed him up. And, well, to be honest with you, when I was in the Navy, it messed me up pretty bad, too. In fact, you know, I had, I had some pretty serious traumatic experiences, but I learned to get over them. I learned to just block the shit out so that way I can move on. 
not sit there and, uh, like I said, not sit there and dwell upon the past. You can't change the past. I'm sorry. You just can't. You just got to learn to adapt and overcome. But he makes it as though his plight is worse than mine, and, or, and uh, my plight means nothing, and that I'm ignoring him. But I, I've told him, I've listened to him. I've listened to him. I've, I've done all I can. What, you, what do I have to do? Agree with him 100%? No, that's bullshit. That's fucking stupid. That's not listening. I disagree with him. I disagree with him 100%. You know, I started out from pretty much the same position that he started out, you know. Given, we were both roughly given about the same opportunities to a degree, okay. But, you know, he's claiming that he's too depressed to work right now. He's too depressed and uh, he's too messed up mentally. I've offered him a place to, yeah, I've offered him numerous times to go work with me at the job that I'm working at. I've offered him to go live with me so he can work at this job that I'm working at. Because I'm making a decent living. I mean, by no means am I rich. Nowhere near rich. But I'm finally, finally being able to claw myself out of the hole that I started out in. Just finally being able to start Fly my way out of the hole. I've lost jobs numerous times. I've, I can't, you know, I've had it where, especially when I, after I got out of high school, I couldn't hold a job for more than a month. I had it even when I was in college where I couldn't even get a job. Even when I wanted to work a job, I couldn't get a job because nobody wanted to hire me because I was going to school and they didn't want to have to work around my schedule. They didn't want to have to work around my school schedule. So I'll, and then after I completed college, again, I still had issues with employment. I had issues trying to hold a job, trying to find a job. I had an associate's degree as an electrical mechanical technician. Couldn't find a job because these companies didn't want to hire me. They wanted to, you know, they didn't want to hire me because I didn't have experience in my career field. Well, no, duh, I didn't have experience. Because I just got out of college, just graduated college. They wanted to hire somebody with two years experience plus a degree. I was like, they didn't want to invest the time in training a new person. But, you know, if you want a new guy to work your job, you got to be willing to take a chance and hire them. Especially if they went through the effort and the trouble of going to school. So instead, I ended up joining the, the military. The military ended up being my best leg up to get myself out of my, my situation. Now, my career didn't last very long, but here I am. I'm working, okay? But he is pretty pissed off with me because I'm telling him that I don't support this stuff because these guys... They'll tax me on my, my wealth. They, they will tax my wealth. They will tax my property. As if I'm not already paying enough taxes as is on my stuff that I outright own. Okay? Take, for instance, this 31-year-old truck that I'm driving right now. It'll be 32 years old next year. This 31-year-old truck, when I bought it, cash money, four years ago, cost me $27.50 to get it licensed and registered. That was four years ago. You know what it cost me now? It cost me $101.25 to renew the tags. How on earth did my registration go up almost four times in four years for a truck that is pretty much an antique at this point? And I'm not complaining because I love this truck. I really do. I'm not complaining about that. I'm complaining about the fact that they're charging me more to license and register my truck. You know, that's that's tax money. You know what taxes are? That's that is theft through the government at gunpoint. That's what it is. That's what taxes are. And if 
you were to introduce a program like UBI, that money's gonna come from somewhere. And I guarantee you, it's not gonna come from the 1% like everybody's talking about. You know, what my friend and what a lot of other people don't know, what my friend Frank doesn't understand is that these people are not idiots, okay? These one percenters are one percenters for a reason. They weren't idiots. They'll find ways of getting out of having to pay these additional taxes. They already do. Especially if they own a business. They'll cut, they'll start cutting, uh, they'll start cutting people's uh, hours. And like I said, this kind of falls under the same lines of raising minimum wage. They'll start cutting people's hours. They'll start cutting out positions. Um, these guys will find a way to launder their money or they'll find a way to just take their money offshore entirely, put it in a Swiss bank account. Or, or better yet, they'll just leave the country. They'll, they'll take their money with them, they'll leave the country. Don't think for one moment these guys are gonna pay a 50% income tax or 50% wealth tax on their on the property that they already own. Don't think that for one moment, and that's gonna solve the 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 universal uh, basic income issue. You know what they'll do is they'll they'll come to people like me and they'll start taking it out of me. They'll start taking it out of my check. They'll start taking it out of what I already own, and you know. He's pissed, you know, because uh, I'm defending that my shit. But you don't understand. He doesn't understand. People like him, and uh, you know, like I said, he doesn't understand. People like him don't understand. My shit that I own wasn't given to me. I didn't buy this shit so that way it could get stolen from me. I didn't work my ass off saving up money to get this shit so that way I could either get it taxed right out from underneath my feet or get it so that way I couldn't even use it no more. I saved up money. I spent months saving up money for this pickup truck that I bought outright in cash. Spent months, months. None of this stuff that I own was given to me. Yeah, I've, I've, got, I've had a couple gifts here and there, small things, you know. Like my folks, they, they hooked me up with a, a sweet pair of uh, steel-toed, uh, engineer's boots I still have I've had for seven years I guess but for the most part I've worked for just about everything I own I pay my own bills I pay rent oh this thing's giving me a notification here okay good nope let's just check to make sure the camera so I don't understand why he, he, what his problem is. He just needs to get off his ass. You know, it's real easy to sit on your ass and complain. But it's another thing when you're out there, out there in the dirt, working your ass off, trying to give your give yourself a better chance at life. But the reason why this whole UBI thing is not going to work, like I said, this money's going to come from somewhere. It's going to come out of taxes. There's several reasons why it's not going to work. Take me, for instance. If you try to do, push that UBI thing and you tax me more, I, I can barely make ends meet as is. Okay, I can barely make ends meet as is. If you tax me more, I'm going to get to a point where I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have to file bankruptcy. I'm going to have to start giving up shit. I might even have to sell my truck. Could happen. Could very well happen. Might have to sell my truck. Might have to start selling some guns, you know, some of my guns I already have. Because I can't make my my I can't make ends meet. Oh, and uh, they'll probably tax me on. They'll they'll probably charge me some kind of a sales tax for selling all that stuff because that's additional income that I'm not reporting, you know what I mean? So that's one of the reasons why it won't work. And I will get to a point, and people such as myself will get to a point where we're gonna be like, well, shit, what's the point in working? What's the point of 
trying what's the point of trying to excel trying to you know try to get ahead and you get punished for it. what's the point you know what I'll just sit on my ass and collect uh, you know I'll just start collecting welfare myself you know collect a UBI check myself and very quickly you're gonna see you got very few people paying into the system for one the other thing too my company they could end up having to lay me off the company that I'm working for because think about it I've worked there for less than a year um, they're they're not really they're, and never mind they're not really losing out a whole lot yeah they're losing out another CDL driver but you know they're like I said they got to figure out some way of uh, cutting the overhead expenses so that way they can continue to make a profit because these businesses are not in business so that way they can break even nobody is So you're gonna have that, and the other, and then the other issue too that comes into play is that you're gonna have a whole bunch of cash. Like I said, this cash isn't free money. Okay, I mean it's free money to those who don't want to do shit to earn it. But I mean this this cash is just gonna flood the market, kind of like how, kind of like how. Uh, having all these minimum wage, you know, when minimum wage goes up, how that causes the market to get flooded with a little bit more cash. What this cash does is it creates more demand on products, goods, and services. And what do store owners do when there is an excessive amount of demand and very little product on the shelf? They raise their prices. I don't care what people say, what people think, they always raise their prices. Uh, sometimes it's out of greed, and you know, a good portion of the time it is probably out of greed, but most of the time it's because demand is high and the supply is low. So they gotta come up with some way of offsetting their losses. And got it, like I said, keep in mind, they're probably paying more taxes too. They're paying more expenses. Okay, it slowed down here. So that's another reason why this won't work. Okay? That's why these politicians are idiots. That's why these people that support these politicians are also idiots. Don't get me wrong. I'm not thrilled with Trump. Okay? I'm not thrilled with President Trump one bit. Okay? I've made it clear before that I didn't cast my vote so much for, you know, I didn't cast my vote for Trump so much as I was trying to cast my vote against Hillary Clinton. But if you think things are bad under Trump right now, I guarantee you things will be 1,000% worse under, under a Bernie Sanders or under a, an Elizabeth Warren. In fact, I'm so sick and tired of Bernie Sanders. I, I hate Bernie Sanders so much. I hope he gets a heart attack and dies. I really do. I don't want him. I don't want him to be even a consideration. And you know what? I don't think my friend, I don't think anybody, you know, the people that support a person of Bernie Sanders caliber understands that he's a fucking hypocrite himself. He's a fucking hypocrite. He doesn't practice where he preaches. He talks about income inequality and all this nonsense. But you know what? He, you know what? He's a he's a multimillionaire. People don't know that he's a multimillionaire. He lives in a what was it? What was it? He lives in like a a six million dollar mansion. Yeah, I I don't know, but that that's not somebody who I want to be voting for. You know, if they're like I said, they're not even living by what they preach. So, yeah, I, I think, like I said, hopefully I've, I've made my point. Like, I feel like I'm rambling on, but I think the last thing I want to bring up here, too, because the guy, like I said, the one guy, this guy that I'm talking about, Frank, okay, my friend, Frank. 
like I said, he thinks I have it so good, but I'm not making all that much money. I mean, I'm making a, I'm making an okay living, okay? I, I would say that my paycheck average is probably somewhere between the 31 and maybe, maybe 35,000 35, mark annually, okay? Based on what I make. I'm averaging it out based on what paychecks I get paid bi-weekly, okay? So I'm gonna say I make somewhere between 31 and 35,000. He thinks I, I should get be getting taxed more for that and he's pissed that I've got that kind of money. Well, here's one thing he doesn't understand. I went to college. Not only did I go to college, but after, after military, I went to a trade school and got my CDL license, which wasn't free, and it wasn't cheap. It was $8,000 tuition, and I got my license. And I just, just finished off paying off that eight grand. Just finished that off, like three or four months ago. Just pay, finished paying that off. That wasn't free. So if he wants to make the kind of money that I'm making, then he needs to go to school. He needs to do what I did, get a CDL. But like I said, people like him don't understand. They think I got it so good and they've got it so terrible. You know what? You got the same opportunities as I do, okay? Don't whine, moan, piss and complain to me that things aren't going good and you don't have any money if you ain't working. You know, there's an old saying, if you don't work, you don't eat, plain and simple. All right, I'm Dior's. I'm out. You guys have yourselves a good one. Bye-bye.